Well, good morning. Another day has dawned, and it's our day 38 in our daily broadcast for Show Up Church. Friends and family who join with us, good to be with you again this morning on a beautiful, sunny, blue sky morning again. How wonderful. Okay, so uh, good to be with you, and uh, at the end of the broadcast, I'll give you the um, meeting ID number for um, our extended Zoom Bible study this evening to finish Psalm 27. Um, so make sure you've got a pen and paper handy, um, and I'll give you the number at the end of the broadcast. Um, so that we can, if you want to join with us this this evening, uh, at seven o'clock, um, you'd be welcome to do so. Um, it's, it's good that uh, the folks who've been gathering together you know, separately <laughs> um, have uh, have been blessed by what we've been discussing. It's only just just half an hour, um, and it just gives us a chance to express what God has been saying to us uh, through these the broadcasts, which is really good. And the more that join us, the met the, the merrier, huh? Okay, so uh, good to be with you again this morning. I'm going to look at the last two verses of um, Psalm 27, this song of hope that David has uh, that starts with, you know, such incredible confidence in God. Um, God is going to deliver me and he's going to defeat my enemies and he's going to defend me. And then, uh, then we have that uh, commitment from David that he wants to dwell in God's house and he wants to... Um, know what it is to delight in God's house and finally to deepen his relationship with God um, in God's house now of course we we can't meet together in a building but we're meeting together uh, in all sorts of different ways right now um, and that's so good isn't it um, but David then um, cries out to God there's a heartfelt cry that, that um, he needs to get off his chest so to speak and we had a look at that yesterday um it, it was it was a it was a cry f from the heart his spirit his spirit man crying out to god to 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 come and and, and not turn his back on david and and not to uh, reject him and uh, we we had a look at that yesterday but today um as as we as we come to uh the end of the this this wonderful watering hole that many of us have turned to so many so many times in our christian experience um and it's been a blessing to me um as i've just gone into it that little bit more in the last few days and finally we come to the end of the psalm where david has confidence again um but the word i'm going to use today is courage he finds his courage in god again um confidence will 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 help you to have courage without confidence um we we find even quite straightforward tasks can be daunting. I remember when I was teaching people to drive, um, the the one thing that of course you wish you could um, sell in paper bags was was confidence. <laughs> um, you know you you can direct them to the uh, bookshop to get the the theory book and to learn um, all the theory etc. You can you can help them to spend extra time in in, in in having lessons on specific issues that they they were struggling with, usually reversing around a corner or parking or something. Um, I won't talk about the chicken dance just now, but <laughs> my method of teaching people how to park. Yeah. Anyway, um, the <laughs> the, uh, the the point I'm trying to make is what they needed was simply something you can't buy and you can't teach. It was confidence. And once that confidence had come, the penny would drop, and as we'd say, and suddenly they they they're happy to to go further further on with this. Uh, suddenly they they're looking for more. They they're wanting to 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 take on tougher challenges, etc. Um, and so here we are with David. So now um, this whole psalm is a, is a walk through. You know, yes, he, he had that confidence at the start that he knew God was going to be on his side and do, deal with his enemies, etc. Then he has that. He makes that his own commitment to God in, in what um, he was prepared to do to, to dwell in God's house, to 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 know what it is to to deepen his walk with God and and to delight in God's house. And here comes the heart cry. We've dealt with that. He got off his chest 
what he needed to say. He got um, to deal with the issues that he'd been carrying really since a teenager. Um, and and now that's all done, it's dealt with. Fabulous. Now his, his confidence is back and now he can take courage. He can take courage. Um, let's just read those two verses, shall we? Verse 13 and 14 of Psalm 27. I am still confident of this. He's back to his confidence. Come on. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Okay. Two short verses and yet so much in it actually isn't there um so first of all we've got to remember that david's surrounded by a lot of bloodthirsty men who were ready to kill him at, at a stroke if they could possibly get their hands on him they would it would be all over for david and he knew that um yet his confidence now was restored in god that god is going to protect me god is going to bring me through no matter what this looks like no matter what the enemies are saying, no matter what lies they come up with, what threats they try and throw at me, my confidence is in God. Why? Or what specifically? In that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I am not going to die. My life is safe. It's hidden in God. Um, now, God would protect his life. That was his confidence. Uh, and now... He's getting courage in this. <laughs> um, mm, okay, well, that's good. Um, but then he says, wait. <laughs> the big little word, should we say? Mm. Indeed, um, he says it twice. So um, <laughs> I think it's important, don't you? Yeah, it, it's repeated. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and, and take heart, and um, but wait for the Lord. Mm. Yeah, we we don't do waiting very well, do we really? <laughs> yes, I had an experience of that last night. Um, won't go into it, but um, pacing up and down, waiting, 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 got fed up. <sighs> we want it now. Um, in fact, yesterday would have been better. <laughs> Wait for the Lord. You see. It's when we press on, when we, when we, when we decide that uh, we've waited long enough. Thank you very much. You've had enough time. Um, that's when we make the mistakes of of taking routes that we shouldn't take. Um, like we discussed yesterday, instead of it being a straight path, it becomes a crooked path. It becomes uh, full of diversions and forks in the road that we go the wrong way because we're not prepared to wait. Waiting patiently for the Lord. <laughs> yeah, it can be tough, can't it? It, it? You know, we have to wait now. We have to, we have to, yeah, hold our peace and be patient. Um, another three weeks, another two weeks, whatever it is, and one week's gone, so it's two weeks to go, and then we'll find out what the next stage will be. And no doubt there will still be restrictions, and 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 we understand why. Um, etc but we've got to wait well the same is true when we're trusting in the lord we take uh, our confidence in him uh, that courage comes but wait when your confidence is high um you tend to want to just push on and uh suddenly my my pupil who's you know who's just managed to um <laughs> deal with with uh, joining on to a a dual carriageway um, without crashing into people or 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 swerving um, at speed suddenly decides that they they want to go on the motorway well well that, yeah, let's let's get some experience first let's just try and get used to the speed and the other traffic and what's going on around you your awareness and planning and and thinking ahead you know let's not run before we can walk just yet so confidence is good but there was also the need for patience and to wait and build up more confidence and more experience and to wait on the Lord because he knows the way that you should take. So the big little word, of course, this morning repeated for us, just in case we missed it the first time. <sighs> wait. <clears throat> okay. But the Lord's timing is perfect. 
And in that then, you will be strong and you will take heart, you will take courage. Um, and, uh, and that's good. But there is more. There is more. Come here, there's more. <laughs> um, the goodness of the Lord. Hmm. I mean, it's quite specific, isn't it? Maybe just say that. I will see the goodness of the Lord. You want to make, maybe just underline that little phrase there. I will see the goodness of the Lord. David was referring to something specifically. What was that? Yeah. The goodness of the Lord. Not that just that the Lord has been good to me, um, which he is, and, and, and we all, I trust, will have testimony of the times when when we know the goodness of God steps in and, and, and situations are turned around and, and health is restored and finances recovered and, and, and all sorts of testimonies. Yeah, I could we could wax lyrical about it all morning, no doubt. However, what I wanted to say was it struck me that David is actually talking about something specifically, the goodness of the Lord. And that is actually... Have a little, do a little bit of digging today if you can. And for those of us who, who join together on the Zoom um, Bible study tonight, have a little look at 2 Samuel chapter 7. Because that's what David is referring to. Okay, have a look at 2 Samuel chapter 7. And uh, and we'll discuss it this evening. The, the goodness of the Lord. He was confident of this. He's going to see that. He's going to see that fulfilled in the land of the living. <laughs> he's going to be around to see it. It's not going to be something that uh, he, he's going to see it himself. But he has to wait, be patient, be strong, take heart. Oh, and by the way, just in case you missed it the first time, wait on the Lord. <laughs> okay. So David's courage in God, first of all, that he would escape from death. Secondly, that he would wait for God. And then finally, he would be strong in God. Um, but it all depends on God's timing. <sighs> if only we could just speed up the clock a little bit, huh? <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. And the moment we do, we end up taking a fork in the road that we should never have taken. We end up going on a detour. We end up being distracted, delayed. Not good. God's timing is perfect. Wasn't it wonderful today, for those of you who um, are on Facebook, um, uh, Quentin Bellamy, the uh, the vicar in St. John's uh, in Old Colwyn, of uh, course, was brought up in um, Bethel uh, Christian Fellowship, what Sure Hope was many years ago. And he put on Facebook today uh, that today, 50 years ago, um, was the grand opening of the old building on the corner of St. Catherine's Drive. How good is that? That was really interesting. And photographs there of some of the folks uh, of those years ago. And Quentin would have been a, a, little, a little lad at the time. And uh, it was really interesting. So thank you, Quentin, if you happen to see this. Um, yeah, it was a real blessing. And uh, everybody's commenting on it, saying what they remember. Um, and who'd have thought? I, I remember the building, actually. Um, as a teenager, I do remember um, uh, the old Bethel Church in, in Old Colwyn uh, with the, the high peak um, on the building. Um, and who'd have thought, huh? that some 50 years later well um i'd have seen it probably in the in the 1980s i would imagine yeah um that uh here i am as the pastor of the church when it's moved over the road amazing isn't it but we have to wait in god <laughs> so i've got to take courage in him today um yes he keeps us from death we'll see his promises fulfilled in the land of the living we've got to wait for him and we've got to be strong in him. Don't try and do it in your own strength. So have a good day today. Uh, for those of you who want to join with us in the Zoom Bible study this evening, 
um, the ID number which you need. Here, so we need to pick up your pen, piece of paper. Okay, I'll say it a couple of times. Seven seven six nine three two three one five one four. Okay, say it one more time. Drum roll. Seven seven six nine three two three one five one four. Okay, so um, that's really good. Lots of things going on. Um, there'll be a, a, a really, quite an exciting update tomorrow in uh, in uh, the service that we broadcast. Um, so uh, don't miss that. Be available on uh, YouTube and through the different platforms uh, for half past ten tomorrow morning that we can all watch together and worship together and separately <laughs> in our different homes and uh, and know the presence of God because that's the key isn't it knowing the presence of god no matter where we are whether we're together in the building which will will happen one day um or separately in our homes but we are meeting together as much as we can uh through these broadcasts or through the zoom bible studies um we're doing what we can to meet together to uh to share in the, in the goodness of god and uh, and see the goodness of god in the land of the living okay god bless you so here's the number one more time um seven seven six nine three two three one five one four okay so let's just pray heavenly father we thank you for today we thank you for this wonderful watering hole of psalm 27 that we've read so many times in the past and and been blessed by it but on our study of it this week, we have seen so much more. Um, we thank you, Lord, that we can say again, our confidence is in you today. It's not in our own, in our own abilities or what we think we can do, uh, but our confidence is in you, and we take courage from that. We thank you, Lord, that as we take our courage in you, we can say that we will escape from death, that we will indeed wait for you, and we will know what it is to be strengthened in our heart and in our lives as we work and walk with you for all the days that you have planned for us thank you lord that you have a plan for us we thank you for the memories of the building being open 50 years ago today at the old bethel church and we thank you lord that through all the trials and tribulations over the 50 years that uh, the, the church's witness is still in the village uh, and even seemingly now stronger than ever despite all that the enemy has tried to do because your glory is being made known and your love is being expressed to many people in the village and the local area who would never have given you a thought in the past so lord through all, all that we face at this time in all the isolation and the difficulties we give you the praise and we give you the glory and we say we will wait for you because your timing is perfect in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Um, maybe I'll see you this evening. Please join with us if you haven't joined so far. Uh, it would be great to see you on Zoom. I'll give you the number one more time. 776-9323-1514. And that's 7 o'clock this evening. Okay, God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.